New tonight, a Missouri school district, is, <clears throat> excuse me, is paying the family of a seven-year-old girl millions after a school bus driver pleaded guilty to sexually molesting her. Only on Five on Your Side tonight, our Christine Byers reports on how this convicted sex offender ended up driving a school bus. In 1968, James Philpott was charged with indecent exposure. In 1972, he was convicted of assault with intent to rape, both in California. But the Crawford County R1 School District hired him anyway to drive a school bus in 2023. He was 72 years old. This is certainly incredibly concerning, to say the least. Grant Boyd represents yeah, the seven-year-old little girl Philpot molested three times between April 27th and 28th of 2023. The video captured him driving the school bus and her sitting on his lap while he abused her and while he was driving the bus. There was a, at least one or more other children on the bus each time. Did the school district ever offer any explanation to these parents and this family as to how this happened? Based on what we have um, and what we've reviewed, it, it indicates the school district absolutely knew about these convictions for these prior sex offenses before this happened to our client. There seemed to be some kind of indication given to the family by someone at the district that they were only looking at things that occurred in the last 20 to 25 years. Phil Pot pleaded guilty to child molestation and he was sentenced to 15 years in prison in February. The school district paid the family a $3.1 million settlement this month. It's incredibly significant, especially given the protections that public entities enjoy under the law and in circumstances like this. There's no amount of money that can ever rewind the clock for a child sexual abuse survivor. But with this settlement, it will ensure that whatever this girl needs moving forward in her life, she will not have a single impediment to doing that. Five on Your Side sent an email to the school superintendent, Cole Biasi, asking what is being done to prevent this from happening again. He declined to be interviewed and sent a statement which read, The district is pleased that we were able to reach a resolution with the family involved in this situation. However, we are unable to comment further on this matter at this time. He also confirmed Philpott worked for the district for 19 months, from October of 2021 through May of 2023. What do you think needs to change to make sure this never happens again? There were other people involved in this situation that should answer some questions about why this happened. And he says laws need to change. I do think that we need to look at broadening the list of criminal offenses that automatically disqualify someone from working in um, the education industry with children. Christine Byers, five on your side.